Hello, everybody. Welcome to take, I think, nine now. Nine of trying to do this. Make sure you do your audio tests and check all your shit and look at your things to make sure what you think is the wrong mic is actually the right mic and then you don't have to start over a fucking million times and stay on track and all this good stuff. Anyways, videos about how to avoid using a headset like this and use a microphone like this and be able to listen to whatever the hell you want while you're recording via a setup like this, including the coffee, I guess. So, what do we have here? And why, first of all? Well, as far as the microphone is concerned, I will give you an audio example of why you should never use this. Give me one second here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, this feels awful on my head. Fuck. Ugh. It's disgusting. Anyways, this is what a terrible $20 headset mic sounds like. This is something I bought out of desperation for wanting to record on my Vive, and I should just get a wireless lapel mic system. I will do that eventually when I stop being a lazy shit. But this is what I bought, and then the USB port didn't even fit inside the Vive HMD, and I couldn't even use it. So, this is bad. If you desperately need to talk to people online and you don't care about the people on the other end that have to listen to your stupid ass, then fine, get one of these. If you don't ever want to hear good sounding music, get one of these. Because this is going to sound tinny and garbage and horrible. It, it will sound like you paid $20 for it. So, let me stop ruining your day and go back to my good mic. And get this shit off of my head. Because it's crushing my head with its ridiculous clamping force. Go back to my Fostex. Okay, so. That's a quick summation of why you don't use these. It sounds bad to you. It sounds bad to everybody else. If that sounded passable to you, get out. Alright, so the main things to focus on here, if you want to do better audio for, like, YouTube or something, and you don't want to get a Blue Yeti, because the Blue Yeti, it does have a little headphone jack in it, so you can monitor what you sound like, but I'd, if I remember right, you can't send the audio th from your computer through the Blue Yeti to your head to like balance it and it, even if you can you still don't get to have one output going into the mixer and another output going into the mixer and have both of those outputs go into the same headphones without a mixer i'm pretty sure that i owned a blue yeti for long enough to not completely miss that there was another port if there was well, I'm a fucking idiot. Other reasons not to get that is it's way too heavy um, to use an arm like this. And it's way too big so that if you have it situated kind of like this and you want to be close enough to the microphone that you don't sound like you're a million miles away and there's something between you and the mic. Um, or you might just forget to flick that little switch that determines which mics it's using. Um, well, this shit can be this far away and sound fine, and it can be closer and not take up two-thirds of my vision when I'm trying to see my gameplay on my oversized monitor here. And it's not going to weigh the arm down, so it just slowly drifts down like a Yeti would do, because it's the heaviest fucking thing on Earth. So don't do it. Don't get a Yeti. Don't do that. This is this setup, the main thing that I'm going to go over, is actually cheaper than a Yeti as well. And if any single component is something you don't like, it's very easy to just swap that piece out. Like, this mixer, I was going to swap out 
Okay, it's 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 easy to swap it out for something better, but once you have this, you're gonna not want to get less than this, which is why this is still sitting on my little audio table here. So, what do we got here? Um, we have the music going through this digital analog converter via the optical port, which is the only time I've ever used the optical port in my computer. So we have music or my Chrome is set to go through this as well. And then we have all gameplay going through this. My, um, hang on, my new audio interface. You don't need this part. Um, you could use one of the headphone jacks or one of the analog audio outs on your computer that already exists. Uh, you also don't need this DAC because there, I guess, is one in the mixer because it takes audio signal via this USB port here and it can use the USB audio. You can only use the USB audio or the line ports. You can't use both at one time on this mixer. This is a Zenix 302 USB. Um, but two outputs is all you really need. So you can use the USB and a wire using these um, RCA cables. Uh, this one is actually a eighth inch with a quarter inch adapter just to go in here. Eighth inch to RCA uh, that goes into the two track and I can adjust the volume. I can adjust the computer volume from itself and then I can adjust the line or USB volume right here. So what you do is you get your game audio and you put that all in one and you put your voice chat on that same one because usually if you're talking, you're gonna wanna hear who you're responding to, right? So you get all that in one output and then you put whatever the hell else you have that you're listening to that you don't want to be in your recording in the other output and you run that in here and then you run the headphone out um, either directly to your headphones or if you're a douchebag um, audio equipment addict like me, you get a headphone amp and you run the headphone out from the mixer into the headphone amp and then you run the headphone amp into your headphones. And then you justify having a headphone amp by getting very inefficient headphones but that sound amazing. And then I will show you way over here, mind the mess, that shelf right over there has five more sets of headphones on it. Um, I can go and justify each one, but whatever. So if, if this and two outputs is all you need, why the hell do I have all this other shit? Um, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> overkill, no kill like overkill, plus if ever I, well, I'm going to pretend that I can tell a difference between what this DAC is doing and what just the USB DAC in here is doing, but I can't. I like it. It's just fancier and I get to use this fancy looking cable. Um... But I got this thing so that if me and my friends ever get together and I rig up my table with four microphones, I can have us all recording to separate tracks and fix any one, any one person's audio later, if need be. Ideally, we would just take care of that on the spot, but there you go. Um, so this is not necessary for general use. Neither is this, neither is this. In fact, this is the least important part, and it's a tube amp, so it's going to just distort your sound anyways. Um, uh, cost of just, just this and the microphone. This, this particular mixer is somewhere around 50 bucks on average. Um, and then the microphone that I'm using is a GLS ES57, which is like a clone of the Shure SM57, which people really like. 
It's like an industry standard type thing, I think. Um, and this microphone was $35, I believe, when I bought it. I'm sure you can find it for cheaper, and I'm definitely sure you can find it for more expensive than that. Uh, um, 25 foot XLR cable coming out of the microphone. That's retarded amount of wire, but it, it was cheap enough and I'm never gonna run out of that. Um, so yeah, this, this sounds a lot better, God, I hope so, than that headset. And I get to listen to the music that I'm, the music that I'm listening to right now, but if I wanted to, I could silence that on the recording, have gameplay going, and that would be on a separate channel that I could bring up or down while I have my music, like I can have my music way up here and have the, have the game audio completely silent to me, which is how I stream Isaac a lot of the time. I have my music way up here in my headset and the game audio way down here. But on the recording, it's the exact opposite. I have the game audio way up here, and there is no music audio, ideally, if I'm wearing the right headphones. I have open headphones that you should not use if you're trying to record things. Don't use open headphones and, and a good mic at the same time. Um, yeah, hopefully I recorded this right, and this audio will be in... The microphone audio should be in mono. The music audio should be in stereo, but it should be very quiet. As much as I should, as much as I said, do test recordings at the start of this video, I'm still very lazy. And if I can do a thing in a single take, which I clearly can't, because it took me nine tries, um, I'll do it in a single take. <laughs> so there you go. That's a a shitty walkthrough of my audio setup. Total cost of what you need, less than a Blue Yeti. Much more complex looking, really not actually that complicated. Any questions, please ask.